How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video here on the Nat Automotive channel and in today's video I want to catch you guys up on the progress on the project for prepping the go-kart plans and designs I have that I use to build my custom homemade go-kart ready for sale for any of you guys to purchase. It's been a minute since I made the announcement that I'm going to be doing this and, and prepping these designs and plans to actually sell. Um, I can't remember how long ago. It was definitely like at the beginning of 2020, but just got so caught up with other stuff. But I have been working on uh, the designs and models for the go-kart frame and everything. Um, it's taken a lot more time than I anticipated to do it right and to do it the way I wanted, where it's fully detailed and as explicit as possible with all the details um, for anybody who's looking at purchasing the plans and then wanting to build a go-kart like this or similar to this. So um, this video, I basically want to catch you guys up on what I have done so far and show you guys just a little sneak peek um, at the uh, kind of design packet that I've been putting together as well as this is the opportunity for any of you guys to uh, request any particular info on the design and build packet. So I'm wrapping on finalizing some of the details on the build packet so I wanted to post this video up there so I could get some interactive feedback on if there's anything in particular that if you're interested in purchasing this design packet design kit that you guys would like to see in it because now I have the opportunity to still add it in um, so what I, I'll show you guys what I've been doing in the garage here and then I'll take you upstairs onto the computer just to give you a quick sneak peek of the uh, designs on SolidWorks all right so I actually have the go-kart all nice and cleaned up I took it out for a spin this morning and uh, this thing absolutely rips it's it's so much fun to drive every time I drive it and it I'd say it probably gets up close to about 50 miles an hour now with the new Makuni carb setup only downside real quick side note here so my clear plastic valve cover I actually started melting and uh, basically the point where the um, bolt that holds the valve cover on right here started pulling away from it so it's not sealing so I had oil coming up the top here and it's just because the exhaust header, header is right here so I'm gonna have to get a new one of these either another plastic one or a another metal one but yeah I was kind of bummed to see that this started melting right here uh, from the heat and letting out some oil but anyways back to the uh, topic related to this video so the reason why I got the go kart out this morning put it all together with the wheels bumpers and everything cleaned it up um, and actually it just cleans up so nicely especially with the blue paint but um, I have been taking pictures uh, detailed pictures of the go-kart that will go along with the SolidWorks designs because as you'll see in a minute here the SolidWorks designs don't include a lot of the details as far as um, the bumpers the way they mount the this kind of like cowling piece over the the steering column how that mounts the pedals just and the shocks and whatnot the only thing that the design designs will have are the, it's basically a bare assembly that has the, uh, the front suspension arms, the main frame, and the rear suspension arms, the front bumper back bracket, and the two side pod brackets. Everything else um, I didn't want to model because it was just taking way too long. It took uh, long enough as is modeling all of that and being as detailed as possible. So basically what I've been doing uh, in the garage here is just taking detailed photos of all the aspects um, of the, of the go-kart so anybody who's going to be building this can kind of see okay that's where he mounted that that's how he mounted that blah 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 or you can take it and run with it and design it and build it however you like um, but yeah so just been taking some pictures in the garage here and it just uh, cleans up so nicely love the blue paint and it complements with the black very well so but yeah this thing just such a blast to drive so if you guys are looking at building a go-kart of any kind if you want to really get some hands-on fabrication fabrication experience uh, building a go-kart like this is an excellent way to do that it's a great thing to add on to a resume um, if you're looking at getting a job for engineering or applying to engineering school hands-on experience like this is awesome and it helps you stand out uh, definitely over uh, just anyone else who's you know done classes and book work and whatnot so uh, yeah so that's why I want to make these plans available to you guys um, I haven't set an exact price yet um, but it'll probably be around seventy dollars is where I'm guessing just because it took me a lot of time um, to model this completely and very detailed um, and all of the money and proceeds that um, come in from selling these will go 
directly back into all my projects for the channel so I can keep providing awesome content for you guys. So now that I've kind of showed you guys uh, the current size of the go-kart and everything and you know, just taking the pictures down here, I'm going to take you upstairs into the uh, editing studio and I'll show you guys on the computer kind of a sneak peek of the design packet and then that's where maybe it might spark some uh, questions and ideas to include different things in the final design packet because this is your opportunity to put those uh, requests in now before I finalize everything. Alrighty everyone, so welcome to the SolidWorks Design Studio uh, where I've been making the model and the drawing designs for the uh, kit for people to purchase if they want to build a go-kart like this. So uh, I'm not going to go over every sheet right now because it is 14 sheets. I just want to go over some of the main ones to kind of give you an idea of how this works and then uh, we'll kind of go from there. So this is the first page um, that you'll see and this basically shows your table of contents and then a general disclaimer to the consumer slash builder slash purchaser of the drawings and whatnot. Um, and basically my plan is, is these will all be first and then at the end here, so if you imagine like page 15, 16, 17, those will be where I incorporate the pictures that I've been taking downstairs in the garage of my actual go-kart that you can use those for reference if you feel you need the extra help. Um, so that's kind of where I'm going at with those. So yeah, so this basic, this first page just kind of gives you a roadmap of where to go to find things. Uh, so the first view here is the front kind of like isometric view of the frame. So it shows the whole 3D model of the complete frame assembly with all the components from kind of like the front top angle view. This is the rear isometric top angle view of the entire frame. And then this is a really cool view. So this is an assembly exploded view. So this basically shows you all of the different components that are modeled out in this design packet slash kit um, that you will be get that you will get dimensions to that you can custom fab yourself or have someone else custom fab for you. So basically here we got the front bumper bracket, the two front control arms or suspension arms, obviously the main frame in the middle the two side pod brackets, and then the two rear suspension arms slash control arms. So that is the entirety of what kind of is modeled out in this uh, uh, design kit. Everything else I kind of felt it was uh, best left up to the user um, to uh, buy and incorporate as they build the go-kart because a lot of that for me especially was kind of building it as I went and figuring out how different parts fit in. So definitely you're gonna have to get spindles that work with the front control arms here or make your own and uh, like the steering shaft and everything. So there'll be some figuring out to do but this will definitely give you a really good starting point on how to build your go-kart um, and everything like that. So all the following sheets are just all the different drawing views with the different dimensions and whatnot um, that basically uh, show you exactly all the different points and dimensions on how to build this go-kart. And then the last sheet on here, it's blank now because I'm still working on it, but this is a general, this is going to be a general parts list. So uh, this along with obviously all the dimensions for all the components that was just listed in the exploded view, this will be a general parts list that shows you all the uh, you know general parts that you'll need to build and assemble this go-kart. And I'm gonna leave out specific brands or models and I'm just gonna basically say, okay, you need a steering wheel, you need a steering wheel adapter, a steering column, a pitman arm, steering linkages, you know, uh, spindles, front spindles for the wheels and whatnot, uh, you know, wheel hubs, exactly, all those things. And that will give you a really good idea of kind of A, how to budget your build and all the things that you will need to eventually buy to get a running and working go-kart. So, uh, so yeah, so this goes back to my other point now. Um, if you guys have any uh, things that you wanna see in particular in this design kit, um, please leave a comment below. This is now your opportunity to do so. That's why I'm doing this video before this uh, design kit is published and finalized. So this will give you uh, uh, give me some time for some interactive feedback with uh, my viewers and or anyone who's gonna possibly be purchasing uh, these design and the design kit. So you guys can get particular info and I'll take that uh, your comments and consider them and see if it makes sense to add those into the uh, go-kart design kit and whatnot. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys real quick on how things are going with that because I definitely have not just been doing nothing uh, with the go-kart designs. Uh, it's just taken a long time to model all that and then obviously other life things come up as well. So I've been juggling that, but I'm almost at the point to have these things ready for sale. And basically uh, my kind of my game plan is, is 
I want to have these for sale in between the time of, you know, ideally it would have been cool to have these out for Black Friday or Cyber Monday, but it probably won't happen. Um, but the plan is, is to have these ready for sale, you know, in a, a week or so or two weeks um, for, you know, anyone who wants to buy these as Christmas gifts or a Christmas gift for someone. Um, that would be really cool. And basically, uh, the, the storefront kind of choice that I'm going with is Etsy. So um, a lot of people think Etsy are for girly arts and crafts. That's actually false. There's actually a lot of people that sell some pretty cool car stuff on there as well. And so my rationale for going with Etsy is they do easy e-file, e-purchase downloads. And uh, in the future, you know, as I start to get more 3D printing involved on the channel, it'll allow me to do stuff with that as well. So basically, these will be for sale for on Etsy for a certain price, probably around $70. Haven't con uh, concluded an exact price yet, but you know it took a lot of time to make these, so that's why I'm kind of uh, selling them for a price like that. So um, uh, yeah, and I'm super stoked to put these up for sale. I want to see you guys build these things and it'll be so cool. Maybe on Instagram or something, I'll start a hashtag that basically says, you know, or it's a, it'll be a collection of all the people who have built and or designed and built their own uh, version of this go-kart. Now the idea is, is you don't have to stay exactly true to this, uh, you know, go-kart design. If you want to make it out of round tubing, you can do that. If you want to change the design a little bit, you can do that. I mean, shoot, if you want to make this thing a two-seater, go ahead and do that. I mean, this is kind of just to give you guys a general starting point on where to kind of get some ideas for a go-kart build. So uh, I'm really excited to see where this goes and uh, all the things that will come from it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have comments or suggestions for these go-kart designs, um, the design kit, please feel free to leave them below. This is your opportunity to uh, have your feedback considered for you know the final product uh, for these go-kart designs. So uh, other than that, if you guys haven't already, subscribe for more videos to come. The go the Corvette build is about to start and really take off after these go-kart designs are kind of finalized and up for sale. Uh, so I got a lot of fun things, exciting things coming up uh, for the end of this year and next year as well. So thanks again guys for watching and other than that, I will see you in the next one.